Holy mackerel, what a beautiful day it is today. Figured out yet? Holy Toledo, what a beautiful day we have today. And today's gonna be one of those not Thursdays where we make it up as we go along. First thing we gotta do is get into the shack and see who's here. Well, Digger Dame is obviously here. <laughs> Was I too far gone? Oh no, no, it's brilliant. Hey guys. Being that it's a not Thursday, you know what we're gonna do? I don't know. We're gonna make it up as we go today. That's the best. It's just you and I. Us and you. What song is that? Just you and I. Either way, let's get our stuff together, get into one of the vehicles, and... Hit the road. Uh -huh. Lou, Lou, we need some, uh, we need some ideas, buddy. Which way? North, south, east, west. Oh, you just want to go that way. Okay. See you, man. All right. Gear is packed up. Have you had coffee? I have had coffee, yes. Do you want more coffee? Negative. Oh, really? I'm good. Oh. I got beverages. I got little nibble bars. Uh, I had a breakfast sandwich halfway down. Ready to go. I wasn't involved in any of that, so I yeah. still need to... Well, okay. I trust you've had your morning constitutional? Yes, I've clumped. I have already had coffee and stuff, but I want more. Good. All right. So, all right, here we go. We're going to get in the truck. First destination is our usual destination where we get coffee, potential surface find, challenge situations, and then we'll continue to make it up. Make it up as we go. I'm up too, how'd you do? I didn't even bother. I, <laughs> I, I was too preoccupied with other issues at hand. But yeah, I did get a coffee. See, easily persuaded around here. <laughs> a couple of donuts, ready to go. Let's go. Let me know if I run that guy over. No, you're good. As far as like, he's gone. Okay. Out of my view. <laughs> it's don't warn me if I'm gonna hit him. It's let me know if I hit him. <laughs> figured out yet? Uh, I went away. You went away? I went away for a minute. <laughs> Sober for 20 years, I still go away. <laughs> oh, I know where we are. You are going to meet the guru. No way! Yeah. That's cool. She is on duty, and we are going to stop by. We may not show it all on film, mm -hmm. because we can't for particular reasons, mm -hmm. but this is where we're going. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so we're inside. Look at this. You got new shoes, Guru, huh? I do. Wow, that's got to be feeling awesome. Inside shoes. Oh, oh. So you'll go back to purple when you're out digging? Right. So Dame is getting his first look at our contributions. It's awesome. I love this museum. Stuff from all eras. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Um, so right now you're looking at my house. Yeah, this is this is all the stuff that, as we know the story, came out of Guru's house uh, at a site that she did not know had existed right under her front yard. Right. And awesome. she has killed it. I mean, I dug a bunch of pieces from there but like 90% of that is her constantly that's incredible constantly hitting the ground she's done an amazing job oh. i see something that i have a match to that i dug in northern vermont that spoon right there oh yeah isn't that thing that awesome cool. with with that with the weird tail on it Coming up the back, I have that uh, 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 that section, the, the the tail section of that spoon, and and that's 160 miles away. <laughs> yeah. Spoons get around. Yeah. All right. So here's something 
of interest uh, that the guru just brought up because of the video Liberty Hill and Wayno's Doug Scissors. What do you have there? This is a wick cutter for a candle. That's the real deal, huh? That is the real deal, and it belongs in a little tray. Nice nails. Modern nails. <laughs> Get rid of those. So that's very cool. Yeah. So do you think what Wayno Doug was? I'm not sure. All right, the mystery of it all. Okay, so there's your little buckyball in there. And then you're going to use this for picking and at maybe something. But that, I don't know if it would, it's it definitely smaller than 58. But if that's a gauge, to make sure they actually fit down the barrel. But now that I see that it's buckyballs inside, that's a tool. Yeah, look at this. This is from the American Revolution. God, I'd love to find one of these. Obviously, this is not a dug item. It's still in beautiful condition. Did you enjoy that? My head is swimming and spinning in, in an awesome way. Did you ever think you'd meet the guru? I thought we'd probably cross paths at some point, but I, it didn't occur to me that it would just happen today. And uh, very, very wonderful person. What an asset, right? Uh, it, it, the amount of care and knowledge that she has for the items here is mind-blowing. And the items, they span 15,000 years. So, <laughs> yeah, we're... Uh... <laughs> That's a stretch. My brain is full in the best way. All right, so Dame and I have landed. What we're going to do... So we're going to spend about, oh, I don't know, 30 minutes. A little quick dig down the street from the shack at a site that had some farming and lots of people living here in the late 1800s. So let's get swinging and see what we find. All right. Let's find Dan. As I've mentioned before when working over here, I've mentioned the large complex during the late 1800s. Uh, lots of men working here mostly Irish immigrants. Dame just found something that should come from that era. Got a beautiful little Indian. Awesome. Yes. And I'll tell you, I've dug one on this property, which you know is massive. Yep. George has dug one. Uh-huh. And that's it. Well. You would think with hundreds of men working here back in the late 1800s, that this place should be loaded with them, right? Right. You just did local history, great justice, Yay. Dave. Wow, man. Look at that headdress. Great job. This is where digging for local history preservation makes finding things like this all that much better. Right on the money. Awesome. Doing it right. Yep, because uh, 1880s was the heyday here, but it did it did linger on for some time after, but 1880s was the cool, the big push, you know. Great job. Swing over that again. <gasps> oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Nice, a reins guide. Oh, yeah, man. Brassy and everything. I got the brass ring. Dude, you're kicking brass today. Woohoo! Dig a dame. That's gonna clean up so nice. Oh, beautiful relic. No wonder why it was popping you in the <laughs> eye. Beauty. I'm just gonna walk around and film you for the mm. for the bit. Alright, so while I'm laying this pretty thing out to take pictures, I was gonna say to him, it sounded like it was gonna say very fine on it. He's swinging over another signal right next to it. Right next to it. Oh man, you might have the other one. Nice, let's check Dame out while he's digging. Nice, nice load of the, uh, your stealth digger tool. That looks badass. That's, it's right where I want it, man. Yeah, man. Oh, what's that? Yeah! It is! <laughs> yes, Dame! Score! <laughs> uh, an, an iron bracket, and they would have been positioned about that far apart. Um, 
because I found one that was nickel plated, a complete, um, in, in the river near my house. Um, but the iron was so degraded, it just fell apart. And uh, yeah, they would have been right about there. Oh, what's that? Oh, you got a shard? Yeah, it's got pottery. Oh, nice. Oh, very good. I got it on uh, ceramic setting. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty heavy too, though. Yeah. So we're both scraping away in this little area. We're about uh, 50 feet out behind where the tenant houses were and we're finding old glass and stuff. The problem with this site and we've seen before is there's, there's so much stuff in the ground. You got to do a lot more digging than you normally would because you got to get a lot of trash out of the ground and keep picking away at it. Is this um is this a cap from a lantern? It's not a bottle cap. Well, check this out. I think I just found a cup. Huh, the material is different. I can't say I've dug anything like that before. All right, so we've had our quick dig here. Dame just kicked butt coming in. Thank you. That was amazing. You found that little hut pocket. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed going out with us and just experiencing free will, making it up as we go. Thanks, Dame, for digging up some awesome finds to put in the museum. Thank you, Guru, for what you do. And thank you, SDN, for always being super supportive. See you next Not Thursday. Thank you.